Tiernan, a 2-0 win at the Welders in front of a bumper crowd. We're nearly, nearly, nearly there. Yeah, um, the crowd kept singing today. We're, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Um, and again, they were unbelievable today, that 12th man. Um, the, 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 the players were absolutely superb as well. A really difficult place to come. Um, conditions are difficult, but we showed great professionalism and we showed great heart and hunger. And um, we done what we could do, and, and and that's all we could ask for the players at at five to three. Um, so super proud of them. You made eight changes, I think it was, to the starting lineup, but that was vindicated with the, the result and the performance. Yeah, I I would never have made the changes if I if I didn't believe that we had the squad to, to come here and win. Um, and I told the players that all week uh, that we have a we have a great squad, we have a great camaraderie. Um, and I don't think it matters who I put on the pitch, every single one of those players will, will run through a brick wall for that badge. Um, and, and you've seen that today. We came home to play a particular type of game, as you say, maybe in the conditions and the pitch, but, but we, we played that very well and limited them to very few chances as well. Yeah, ag ag again, people talk about Lauren, and we've had this conversation all, all season that they talk about Lauren being soft in the belly and they need the right pitch and they need the right atmosphere and they need the right this, that and the other. Lauren came today here and they rolled their sleeves up and they dug out real, three really difficult points um, and all credit to the players for that. Benny with another goal to keep his um, tally going as well. Um, done well. Yeah, he, he says he's hoping to catch Marty before the end of the season. Um, yeah, I was, I was really proud of Benny today. Um, he, he had a difficult start but he, he's working really, really hard. He's a fantastic lad. He, he gives 100% in everything he does, like, like everybody in the squad. Um, but I was pleased with another goal for him. And players come in who maybe haven't started a game in a little while, the likes of uh, Thomas Stewart and Darren Stewart and Don Terre getting his full debut as well. So, you know, players were thrust into the action and did really well. Yeah, and, and to be fair, it was probably unfair on them um, because it wasn't a, an, an easy place for them to come and they had to change their game. Um, but there was no complaints as there never is. And they, they rolled their sleeves up, they worked really hard and, and, and fair play to them. They got a well deserved three points. It's been a 100% record in 2019, so that obviously builds confidence, and it's uh, it's great to try and keep that going. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's one game at a time, as I keep saying, and we, we, we try not to look behind as we try to keep looking in front of us. Um, and we, we have a massive game coming up on, on, on Friday. Um, we'll, we'll get a recovery in tomorrow morning again, and and we'll set ourselves up. And that next game, as you say, home to Coleraine, live on TV, quarterfinals of the Irish Cup, doesn't sort of come much bigger at that than that at this stage of the season. No, it doesn't, but that's why we're here. Um, that's that's what we talk about day in, day out in the changing room and in our team meetings. We we talk about big days and big occasions and big nights. And as you say, there's none bigger than this at this stage. Um, and and what we're the message is go and enjoy this. Um, we're, we're on a journey. So far, we've done very well this year. Um, albeit we haven't won anything yet, but we have to enjoy these big occasions. Uh, top six Premiership side coming, so it's going to be a, a big challenge for us. But is there a genuine belief that we can uh, meet that and get through to the semi finals? Yeah, Coldwain are a very, very good side. Um, we've now watched them play twice. Um, they're a very established Premiership side. Um, they've had some big scalps this year. Um, we know what we're going to get, um, but, but, but our boys will do what they have to do. Um, they, we have a game plan which we'll work towards. And um, I, I have no doubt these boys will let will, will let anybody down. Have you a bit of a, a selection headache in terms of people who uh, got their chance today or over the last couple of weeks, and players who, who might potentially come back in as well? Well, I think that's what today was about for us. Today was a was twofold. It was it was a matter of yes, giving some people a rest, but at the same time, give some people minutes so that they could come into the fold next week. Um, and, and as a manager and as a management team. Um, we, we, do, we have that headache of, of, of who's your starting 11, but it's a good headache to have. And finally, it looks like we're on course to, to sell out. Um, what's your message to the fans ahead of the final? As it is always, they, they are absolutely and utterly phenomenal. Um, we need you behind us. Um, he's a, without a shadow of a doubt, our top man. Um, he's coming your numbers and he's made great noises and he's given us a great lift. Um, and we need that from, from now until the very end of the season. That's great, thank you. Thank you.